Hey, um, Tim, you know, it seemed like that was a that was a very, very pro Loma crowd. You know, it I, was. I think Devin, I think Devin Haney resides in Las Vegas. You know, I think that's yeah. their home they're fighting out of. I know he's not from there, but yet and still. So um, I think I'm, I'm not, you know, it was a pro Loma crowd. I noticed that, you know, they loved Loma. And I'm not going to lie to you, Tim. I, I, you know, I, I did bring up the fact that, you know, what what what, what kind of made me a little upset with you and, and, and Teddy Atlas. I feel like I was praising Loma Tango too much, but I'm not going to lie to you. Tim, I, I, I owe you an apology. I saw the white Jesus. <laughs> I saw the white Jesus moment. <laughs> Saturday when he went low when, when Lomachenko fought Devin Haney, bro, you bro the way he was getting around that weak side and shooting that straight yeah. left, he was out of time in the Haney in that tenth and eleventh round. I looked in the sky, I saw I saw the sun rays breaking through the clouds. I saw a halo. I saw a, 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 a silhouette. I saw the wings. I heard the angels uh, singing hymns. And I'm like, what the hell, bro? The 10th and 11th round, in particularly those two rounds, Lomachenko was throwing punches from some crazy-ass angles to the point yep. where I thought that it was three Lomachenkos in there. Yeah. And, and I yeah. saw the look in, in Devin Haney's eyes. He got real wide-eyed. Mm. And at 11th round, he was, trying to get, he was trying to get the hell up out of there. He was trying to get somewhere. But he couldn't time him. He was throwing punches. Nope. But man, that, I'm like, oh my! But the way he was getting around that weak side, and I said, oh, this what they talking about? Oh, this this what? This, I, 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 you know what I mean? This what they talking about? That dude was so light. He's so light on his feet. And I say, man, God damn, bro! I didn't, I don't know how Devin Haney made it out of eleventh round. I don't know how he made it out of eleventh round, bro, because he got hit with everything. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what, what, yeah. what, 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 what say you about that? I owe you an apology. You know what I mean? I'm like, man, you know, I, I, I saw it. I saw it, bro. I saw it Saturday, Saturday, Saturday night, that 10th and 11th round. I'm like, boy, goddamn, boy. What, what the hell? <laughs> well, look, <laughs> I saw man, the matrix. I look, saw the matrix. Look, <laughs> this is the thing, man. Well, this is what happened. And Cause I, I, I had to live this when I fought, uh, Manny Pacquiao in 2012. Yeah. You know, Manny Pacquiao is a, is the type of fighter. That, that mesmerizes the mind of women. <laughs> and he was legendary. He was a icon. Um, I don't think Lame Loma's on that that same level as Pacquiao, but he's damn near. You know, he's a known for his footwork. Uh, it was a pro Loma crowd, and anything he did, just like in the Pacquiao fight, mm -hmm. anything he did, it was praise. Oh my God! Yeah. Wow. Did you see the combination? This and that. Yeah. You know. So this is a similar situation that Haney is going through. Manny Pacquiao, instead of Manny Pacquiao, was Lomachenko, who was the favorite in many people's eyes, in the public eyes, not in the betters' eyes, but in the public eyes, he was beloved. Um, you know, everybody wanted him to win, especially after that that push that Haney did on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Haney instantly became a villain. So, you know, the, the, the crowd was pro Lomachenko. But the thing I'm trying to say is, is that it's easily, when you see Lomachenko do something, your eyes just go directly towards that. Yeah. It's easy for that. You know what I mean? Because it's like, damn, I was so fast. Wow, how did he move like that? Just as you're saying right now. Yeah, yeah. But when, you, when you're looking at the fight, and this is what these judges were doing. They were looking at the fight. They weren't being mesmerized by what Lomachenko was doing. Mm -hmm. They were looking at the fight, the actual fight, the intricacies going back and forth, you know, by both these guys. There were, there were some, like you said, the, like I said earlier, early rounds, you you know, Haney was on, on top. The later rounds, Lomachenko was on top. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know that. Two definitive rounds yeah. I had for both guys. The rest in between were swing rounds. A lot of them could have went left. It could have went right. It could have went to Haney. Way. It could have went to Lomachenko. Yeah. It just depended on what the judges wanted to see. You understand? What the judges was looking at at the end of the day. And obviously, they was looking at those body shots that uh, that Haney was landing. And they was looking at Haney being the aggressor, mm -hmm. coming forward, dictating the pace. You know what I mean? So he got the nod for some of those rounds. And the scorecards, I, I, I thought the, straw, the fight was a draw. People saying I'm retracting what I said. I ain't retract anything because I ain't never said who I thought would. Mm -hmm. Not one second did I say on the broadcast, oh, man, uh, Lomachenko should have won or, oh, man, Haney won the fight. 
I didn't talk any. I didn't say anything about the decision. All I said is that, dang, this sucks because I know what this young man's going to have to go through now. He got this close decision, but I know what what's coming next. His name's going to get drugged through the mud. People going to call him a fake champion. Yeah. I've experienced this. Yeah. This is going to suck for him. You know what I mean? Because a win is not going to feel like a win for Haney. You know? And I see people coming out the woodwork and they taking Haney's, Haney's, uh, they, they, you know, they jumping on Haney and saying that he won the fight. I get that, but it ain't a whole lot of people. Yeah, it's it not a whole lot of people, lot of people saying that. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I know what he's going to deal with. So, like, Haney won the fight, but his stock somewhat dropped because people don't believe in him. People thought that Lomachenko won the fight. Mm. So, it's hard. It's going to be hard for Haney, man, moving forward. It is. And that's the reason why I keep saying rematch. They got to do a rematch. And I understand that Haney is is is, is a, a big guy and, you know, he, he's outgrown the weight class or whatever. You made it, you made it, Haney. You made it this time. You made it look easy. Go ahead and do it again. And and trust me, Haney is, will be a better fighter from the first time. No doubt. Because when he fought Cambosis, he came with a different game plan and he was able to execute that. Right. It looked even better. It looked even better. I think he can do the same thing with Lomachenko. He can come back and look even better than he did this time and dominate Lomachenko in good fashion to where everybody will say, oh, yeah, he won this fight. No doubt about it. Um, Tim, so a lot of people, it's, it's amazing you said that because a lot of people say robbery. And I'm going to tell you something, man. I saw Lomachenko cry in the back, you know, when it was over with. And a lot of people felt like he won that fight. When I, I didn't score the fight, but when I initially watched it and it was over with, I um I said Lomachenko won that fight seven rounds to five. I said, I said mm-hmm. that, um, yeah, like I, when I saw it, for me, it was clear. I'm, I'm saying right after yeah. the fight, I, I, I picked Loma when I said, yeah, I didn't score the fight, but I said, man, I got Loma. I said, I, gave Loma, I, I got Loma winning that fight. Because it was, it was a lot of stuff he did that just jumped out to me during the fight. I saw what Devin was doing, but it just jumped out to me. But what happened was I went back and I rewatched it. When I rewatched it, I scored it a draw. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, yeah. so I said in order for what I didn't agree with, I didn't, I didn't agree with the unanimous decision. I felt like that if anyone that, that, that was going to win this fight, it should have been a split decision. That's the only thing that I have. And then the 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 one sixteen one twelve by Dave Moretti. I don't you know I don't know, um I don't know what he was looking at, but that's that's that, that's how he saw it. But I just felt like that that fight was so good and it was so close that no no one saw it could have been a split. Whether it was whether it was for Hayden or for Lomachenko, but other than that, that's it. Um, a lot of people felt like it was a robbery. A lot of people saying that if you don't believe that Lomachenko got robbed, you know what I mean. You're biased. Pauli Malalaji, Malanagi said that um, you know that hey, if you know if you if you if you gave Devin Haney more than six rounds, you know then then you were scumbag and this stuff there, yada 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 yada. You you wanted the white guy, you was happy that the white guy lost and stuff like that. So my thing is that's his take on it. But a lot of people what? feel now that's what he said. I did a video on it. Um, but a lot of people, uh, a lot of, he said he said he did an interview with Fight Hype. That's what he said. Exactly what he said. Uh, word for word, literally. So a lot of people feel that. Lomachenko got robbed, and they feel that um, the judges got paid off. The, uh, Paulie also said that Devin Haney re-signed with top rank two days before the fight. So the powers that be in boxing felt that, hey, man, you know, we feel good that a young fighter, um, you know, um, can, continue to, can uh, continue to hold the belts and win this fight. It would be better for a young fighter to win it like a low, like a Devin Haney versus an older fighter than Lomachenko. And this is why the business of boxing came in and, and gave the fight to, to, to Devin Haney. How, this, this, how, how do you feel about that? Do you, do you feel the same way or do you see some kind of validity to that or you think it's just... Hey, man, come on, man. Uh, man, come on, man. And I like Polly, man. Yeah. But he be tripping sometimes, man. I'm not going to lie, man. He be tripping. I mean, what what does race have to do with anything in this, man? I don't understand why everybody, that's the first thing people turn to is race, bro. Like, right. seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Boxing, bro, it's about the skills. That's what it's about. The skills. It's not about race. So, at the end of the day, we can, we can, we can, we can throw that away. Now, I haven't heard anything about some signing, re-signing, this guy re-signing. Right. When I heard up in the lead-up in this fight, they said that this was his last <laughs> fight with top rank. That's what I heard. Uh, yeah, his too. last fight with top rank. That's it. That's it. So he's free. He gone. 
You know what I mean? I ain't heard nothing to say, oh, he resigned two days or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, you know, I'm in, I'm in the inside. You already know me. I'm in the inside. I listen. I keep my ears open. I ask questions. I, hey, and he ain't, he ain't resigned. That's a lot. And then, you know, as far as the judges go, this is the problem, and this is why everybody's saying robbery is because of that one sixteen one twelve. Now, if it was one fifteen one thirteen, just like the other two judges, I think it would have been fine. But the fact is, is that it was one sixteen. 112, and it was the tenth round that that uh, Dave Moretti gave to freaking um, Haney. Haney, yeah, he, he, did, yeah, he didn't win that Yeah, he didn't win that Yes, clearly didn't win. Clearly didn't win. And so that's the funny business right there, where they saying, "Wait, how, how did you call that for for Haney?" Mm-hmm. Like, I don't get it. Lomachenko completely dominated the round, and that's what has everyone puzzled, man. That right there, not the 115, 112. Mm-hmm. The 115, 112 to me was perfect. One of those rounds could have swayed it towards Loma or Haney. Could have went to Haney and would have ended up being a draw. But check this out, though. Check this out, though, uh, Coach. Yes, sir. Why does Loma Tanko always lose the round last round? Why the <laughs> hell does Loma Tanko always lose the last round? Man. Didn't he learn from the damn Lopez fight? He didn't learn? Yeah. Bruh, he lost the last round. Finish strong. Start how you finish. You finish how you start. That's how it goes. Everybody know that. You finish strong every time. It don't matter if you if you think you've got something won. You always finish strong. He didn't finish strong. If he would have finished strong, it would have been a draw. No, he wouldn't have won the championship. He wouldn't have won it, but it would have been a draw, and then he probably would have got a rematch. Or he wouldn't have suffered a loss, or Haney would have moved up to 140. Those belts would have been released, and he could have been in line to fight one of those belts and see if he can fight for an undisputed championship against somebody else. That's what could have happened. But he lost the last round, and I'm like, why? Like, what? How? He did the same thing against damn Lopez. The same thing. And then, in the press conference, he admitted to it. Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go.